Hey gang, Matt Standridge here. I'm doing a little bit of video on ExoCAD because I'm working up, um, reworking up an implant case. And I wanted to show this. Uh, I took conventional impressions of this. I did an in the mouth uh, verification jig, impressions, um, and all that stuff. And I scanned it on a desktop scanner. I used the Blue Sky Bio DS scanner. And, um, and so when you do that using a desktop scanner and stuff it doesn't um it loses its relations between like your gingiva scan and your scan body scans and all that stuff and so i wanted to show a quick way to to re-relate everything okay so these um these gingiva i want to use these gingiva scans so in this uh demonstration it's this tan model here. I'm going to use that as my fixed reference points. So I'm going to keep those both upper and lower. I'm going to keep those as my exit points. So I'm going to hop over into expert mode real quick. This shows all of the scan data that I have. It's all over the place, right? And um, these are designs that I had done from a um, digital designer. And I outsourced the digital design and when he kicked them back to me, um, so it's none of this is in, in relation, right? So it's kind of a cluster right now. But what I'm going to do is uh, one jaw at a time. I'll start with the upper and uh, just kind of go through this kind of one, one at a time. So if you notice here, I put these little marks in my, if I'm using my desktop scanner, I put these little marks here so that way um, I can keep relation with each other, okay? So what we're gonna do is while in expert mode, I turn off all the scans that I don't want, so I just start one at a time. And I'm going to go to tools, then right here, align meshes, okay? And so this tan one's gonna be my fixed mesh. So you're gonna see I set a point on the floating mesh and the fixed mesh. And so I'm just gonna pick three or four points for this all to relate to that little divot right there goes with that little divot right there so on so forth this guy right here is right over here right um, it's actually this guy right here and so on so forth right then we're going to hit perform alignment and that looks pretty good. Always hit best fit matching. It'll just fine tune everything. And there we go. So that's a pretty good mesh right there. That looks really good. Then I'm gonna click out of that. And so those two are aligned. Now I need to align this upper design from before and I'm gonna use that as my new wax up because basically with the new um, we're going to, we have to redesign cause I need to open them up a little bit more. The teeth are a little too, uh, he's a little too overclosed he, and we need to open up his video a bit. So this alignment actually also works with, um, negatives of each other too, or inverted, uh, scans of each other. So to relate this to this, we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to go to align meshes and now I'm going to pick basically on the outside of these three scan bodies I see here this or this MUA because these are direct MUA I'm going to hit kind of this internal surface hitting straight facial and I'm going to hit the straight facial on the outside of this guy right here I'm going to keep repeating that that guy there hit that guy there now this is just for a wax up so it's not having to be you know um, as they say in cousin my cousin Vitty dead on balls accurate but if you see here and you look up um, you look right from the uh, top here I want to try best fit matching sometimes that actually can screw things up a bit We'll see. 
Yeah, I actually don't like that. Um, so I'm just going to hit perform alignment. I'm not going to do best fit matching. Best fit matching, it's kind of wishy-washy on um, doing inverted scans. I actually just like the original one better. So, And so now I have that upper related and then I'll show you the lower but I will kind of speed through that a bit. Okay, so now if I show everything, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. I'm going to turn off the scan bodies. And so this wax up needs to be brought down just a little bit. But you can see how over close he's going to be. How over close, let me bring this up here. You can see how we don't really have a whole lot of space there, right? So we are going to be opening that up on the digital articulator. But I wanted to just kind of show you guys how to align your messages, your messes, uh, meshes if they didn't import, you know, all together in alignment. So I hope this helps. And um, if there's anything else I can do to help you out, just let me know.